There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows, they send us in to find them. What is up and welcome back. It's Scovos bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video today. In today's video, we're going to be going over weapon blueprints and how to get the most use out of them, even though we only have five creative class slots. This is going to open up endless possibilities and allow us so much more customization than some of us may realize. I'm also going to show you how to create some hidden gems and throwback weapons to previous Call of Duties using the gunsmith system after I explain everything you need to know about blueprints in this video. Right before we jump into all of these juicy details, I want to give a huge shout out to Abraham Hernandez for the comment on one of my previous videos. And if you want to be one of the awesome subscribers who have been here from the beginning and watched my channel grow, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you enjoy my content. So the first thing I want to go over is how to actually save the blueprints. That way we can use them in the future and switch back to them at free will. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move to the gunsmith after selecting your creative class. So once this is up, this is where you're going to select all the different attachments, and this is going to be my favorite M4 setup. So if you're curious about what I run, I'm using the Compensator as the muzzle brake, the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel, the GI Mini Reflex Sight, which is pretty much the only sight I use, the Rubberized Rear Grip Tape, and the Ranger Underbarrel. This makes for a very steady M4 with a small red dot reflex sight and it just feels really good all around and until they add the red dots to the minimap i'm going to keep using the compensator but probably switch to a silencer since all i play is search and destroy once the red dots do appear on the minimap so after we have everything selected the way we want it to be we're going to go ahead and pull the left trigger on xbox one to save a custom mod so afterwards you're going to go ahead and enter the name here i already have my name entered so you can go ahead and save that now, if you don't already have the blueprint made, it's going to just be one option as either create new modification or just save. So whenever you do this, you're going to want to press and hold the button for about two or three seconds. That way it actually saves. Once it saves, you'll get to this screen here and it'll say, you know, this weapon has been added to the armory and shows you all the attachments as well as what the weapon looks like. So go ahead and click continue. And there we have it. Now we have a new blueprint saved. In order to select the blueprints, you're going to go to your primary weapon. You're going to highlight the M4 since that's the blueprint we want to select. Tab right to the one before selecting the weapon and click on Armory. So you can see we have a few different choices here, but this is going to be the M4 I just now saved. We can go ahead and press A on that or your select button, and now we have it. So our blueprint is up and ready to go. Now say you're playing different game modes and you want to just alter the gun real quick. I just pulled up the M4, threw it on there, but maybe I want a sleight of hand. So I can go over to perk and I can change this at free will and it will not overwrite the blueprint unless I save a custom mod again and then update modification. So something I want to touch base on really quick before we move on is I know the game only limits us to five creative class slots. Now to get the most use out of this, you can save each creative class for a different game mode using your favorite secondary perks, lethal and tactical. That way you can swap out your primary weapon between different blueprints to get the most use out of the limited creative class slots we have. So for example, let's say this SND M4 class is my only search and destroy class. Now I have multiple weapons set up that I like to use in search and destroy with my favorite attachments for that game mode. And that's pretty much all I play obviously, but we'll say that this is the only one I'm using just for uh, an example. So we have my favorite M4 set up here and it's already saved as a blueprint. So if I switch away from this, none of my attachments are lost and I don't have to remember what I was using at any point in time. So mid match halfway through, maybe I just died and I want to switch away from the M4. So let's say I want to use my favorite AK 47 setup. So mid game, I can just really quickly select my loadout, change my primary weapon, highlight the M4, scroll over to the armory and boom, just like that. I changed to my favorite AK 47 setup mid game in about about two seconds now since this is already my search and destroy class I already have my favorite secondary perks lethal and tactical which remain the same I don't have to go through and edit any of that I don't have to go through and edit my site magazine compensator etc it's already all there and then maybe I maybe I changed my mind I don't want to use the AK anymore I want to go back to the M4 that I was using so I have like the M4 takes two more seconds swap back to my favorite M4 setup 
And essentially, just like that, this one created class for Search and Destroy has endless possibilities. Just save all of your favorite weapon setups for each game mode as a blueprint, that way you can swap to them at free will on the fly whenever you want. It actually is really handy, and we only do have 5 creative class slots, but this is much more beneficial in my opinion than having 10 creative class slots, because I can swap around as often as I'd like, whenever I want, mid-game, after, between lives, it doesn't matter. So now let's jump into the gunsmith and making new weapons off the base model weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and we can save these as blueprints so we don't lose them. So first up, we're going to have the M16, which is based off the M4A1 base weapon. You're going to select that, go to the gunsmith, and then you're going to change the barrel to the M16 Grenadier, and the stock to the M16 stock. And then obviously the iconic perk of Burst Fire. So this is going to be your standard feeling M16 from previous Call of Duty games. You can also change the magazine to the 50 round mag to make it that black color instead of the tan. Unfortunately, there is no way to change the grip on this one. Another option is to change the Grenadier barrel to the Corvus Custom Marksman barrel, which gives it that more iconic look, the look I personally prefer, as well as having the option for the noob tube to slap under that. Now, once you do hit max level, we do actually unlock a blueprint for the M4. This blueprint is going to be of epic rarity, and it is called OG. So let's go ahead and select that, and we're going to actually have a classic M16 setup that is all black with the standard iron sights that we all remember. So we also have some flavor text on the stock that says Operation Get Some. It comes with a three-round burst, 50-round magazine, explosive underbarrel, as well as the grenadier um, barrel on there but we can again change the grenadier barrel to the corvus custom marksman and i like this look a lot better the next weapon we're going to be building is the m21 this is going to be based off the ebr 14 under marksman rifles so we'll go ahead and jump into the gunsmith and we can change the barrel to the 22 inch forge tack precision barrel change the optic to either a sniper scope or the variable zoom scope the stock is going to be the ffs raider chassis elite and then we're going to throw a bipod on there as well. So this is going to be your classic M21 setup, and it's going to change the look dramatically. Next on the list is the classic and iconic AK-74U submachine gun. This was one of my favorite guns from previous Call of Duty games. So this is going to be based off the AK-47 platform. Under Gunsmith, these are going to be the changes that you want to make. Under the barrel will be the 8.1 inch compact barrel. You can throw on whatever red dot sight you want. I prefer the GI Mini Reflex. Under stock, we have two choices here for the 74U submachine gun platform. is going to be the skeleton stock or no stock at all, depending on your personal preferences. Under magazine, we're going to want to change the magazine size to the conversion kit for the 545 by 39 millimeter. This is going to allow shorter range, faster fire rate, and less recoil for those close range encounters. You're also probably going to want to throw on this stipled grip or maybe other some other options to allow you better hip fire or ADS speed and mobility, allowing you to get around faster. So the next weapon we're going to be building is the RPK light machine gun. This is also going to be based off the AK-47. So these are the changes we're going to want to make. We're going to want to add the 23-inch RPK barrel to your AK-47, the field LMG stock, the 75-round drum mag so we don't run out of ammo, and the underbarrel bipod. The next weapon on our list is going to be the Legendary Honey Badger, so this is going to be based off the M13 Assault Rifle. We're going to change the barrel to the Tempest Cyclone, which has an integrated silencer. You're going to throw your favorite sight on there, as well as the FFS Close Quarters Stock. Then under the ammunition, we're going to do the Conversion Kit to 300 Blackout, which has a 30 round mag. And last but not least, we're going to change the AUG submachine gun into the AUG A1 assault rifle from the Black Ops series. So under Gunsmith, we're going to change the barrel to the 622mm long barrel, the optic to the integral 3.0 optic. We're also going to change the stock to the FTAC ultralight hollow, and the magazine, we're going to throw the 5.56 NATO 30 round mag on there as well. So this is going to turn the submachine gun into a very powerful and iconic assault rifle. 
And that will wrap up the video for today. I want to thank you for stopping by. Please click that subscribe button. It really does help me out quite a bit. And it'll help me help you by putting out more quality content. And if you did like the video, you can also click that thumbs up button. If you did not like the video, you're more than welcome to click the thumbs down as well. And as always, let me know what you think below in the comment section. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of this. And if you want to know right when my videos go live, you're more than welcome to click the bell icon to get notified when they do right away. As always, I hope you have a good evening, morning, night, afternoon, or whatever it is, wherever you are, but thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in my next videos.